Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, cosmic golden ones of our earth angels of the new Lemuria rising. As the doorway of this powerful full moon in Virgo opens, and the holy light of the Divine Mother Goddess floods in, we are bathed in the heavenly rays of Mother Father God. To assist us in this great ascension process, our local Solaris released another series of solar flares today. Our sun released several more C-class flares today and another trinity of M-class solar flares. The most intense of these releases was an M-class 5.8 flare at 2.20 UTC. Pachamama also received another massive activation with a magnitude 5.8 earthquake in Tonga on the Ring of Fire at 20.59 UTC. When we receive a solar flash of gamma plasma radiation, we receive a pulse of higher codes of light to upgrade the codons of our DNA and to shift the code of the matrix into a higher, more advanced evolution of consciousness that is of Gaia and all her children of the sun. We are inherently linked to all consciousness of the cosmos, and in the holographic nature of all life, one is the many, and the many is the one. As we continue our progress to full planetary liberation, we rise in the glory of our divine nature of pure awareness. We resolve all things now in the eternal unborn mind of Buddha, with the wisdom of the ages we consciously co-create the new heaven upon the new earth. Regardless of the resistance, both internal and external, we go through and through and through until full compression break through into the light. Our great brotherhood and sisterhood of the roses of the new Eden, we rise and shine together and blossom and bloom in the holy light of the new heaven upon the new earth. A whole. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end where we release another very powerful divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 9 degrees, 56 minutes Virgo. The sun is at 16 degrees, 8 minutes Pisces. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 10 degrees Virgo. Two heads looking out and beyond the shadows. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 17 degrees Pisces. An Easter promenade. From astrologyweekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster Rebirth means dying to your old self the outdated human programming that interferes with your true divine self. Imprint from ValerieElster.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Antonacci Bernardo. Intense solar flares bombarding the planet, burning the false matrix, solar diamond immortal god body online, 144. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Georgina Bement. In March, you will be letting go more and integrating with these amazing new energies. I've been constantly shown change, upgrade, and DNA over and over. It's all happening fully. I feel there is going to be a bigger purge within, and you are going to become even more selective where you spend your time and energy. Your key focus will be mastering your mind, thoughts, and words, and actions will become even more your priority. A beautiful affirmation I am using right now. I am clearing space for new people to enter my life, for new exciting opportunities to flow in abundance for my personal life and my exciting, expanding, growing business. I am open to new adventures. I am open to allowing the flow of new, new, new beginnings. Are you feeling it? From EssentialMBS.com 
and from divine broth or of the light Holgerer Kirchhoff, surrender into your now to enlighten your experiences in truthfulness to glow. Be you majestic soul to inspire the whole, and from divine sister of the light alley ray, dearest one. There is only one thing you need to do, be still. Do what you can to settle down, to quiet down, to stop everything. No matter what appears to be happening out there, or even in your own perception of your own life circumstances, be still. God is whispering from within your heart. You will not hear this if you will not be still. What you truly long to know is waiting in your heart. So please, precious one, waste not one more breath in aimless suffering and confusion. Please, simply breathe and be still. You are so very, very loved. Be still and know. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from divine broth or of the light, Roberto Nunez. The heart, DNA, spine, and pineal gland are getting activated. Pay attention, the full moon is tomorrow and is opening a magical portal. Expect demonstrations, expect unexpected gifts, expect an extraordinary vision through your senses. Embrace this energy and follow your intuition, if you want to see change. Affirmations, with humility I call upon the universal energy, promising to be faithful to it and use it for good. I am speaking my truth and claiming my heart-centered power. From my solar heart center, I invoke a fountain of cosmic love. I am restored. I am divine. I bathe my heart, body, mind, emotions, and consciousness with divine light from source. And from divine angels of the light, Ezekiel, Montiel, Via Silvia, Christova. A tsunami of light is coming. At this time, many people will feel quite exhausted and will not have any energy. This always happens when so much light is coming. We are now preparing to receive to the planet the most intense and powerful waves of light codes in the universe. There will be great changes as the waves of light enter. The frequencies of the waves will activate the awakening in the coming months. The great awakening in the coming months will be unstoppable. Many waves of universal energy codes will descend. Let us receive them with love, without fears or worries, for the kingdom of light is coming to earth. Nothing unusual will happen on the outside, but everything will happen inside us. This is a multidimensional party because it is a return home to yourself. Remembering who we are, why we came to earth, and together deciding to make a big quantum leap, the new planetary start that invites us to tap into the energy of the new earth, allowing us to live in the abundance and prosperity of the age of Aquarius. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Akash Ra, Azurite, Ascension High Energy Update, 3.5 through 3.10. Massive waves, solar winds coming in again in a few days. All new plasma universal soul templates. 12-12-333-1144-1133-672-222-1155. Grid shift. Massive aurora activation coming inbound. This will be a multiversal universal shift converging timeline shift. We are dissolving the ego, void, inner space, ancestral bloodlines, DNA genetic repair. All unconscious programming will be present when we first wake up for some. We are spinning back into the 3D, 4D, old separation programs to dissolving all mazes of the mind vortexes systems. Full moon coming around the corner, Virgo, Neptune energies, open veils, veil lifting. See if you can see the illusion within the illusion within the illusion within the illusion. Veils within veils. All returns to pure source love. 
See what is out of alignment and dismantle all within your star morphogenetic fields. Expand the light outwards to see all transmissions within the bandwidths. All interior, exterior, old and new designs. High co-creation, crystalline, quantum plasma fields are materializing. Our new universe, HD, vivid, galactic, holographic, diamond, nova, terra, golden earth at a light speed, warp speed. It may seem as if you are the void, inner space, or 3D consciousness dissolving. Remember, there's a deconstruction and new consciousness, crystalline plasma quantum fields, realities, worlds, multidimensional timelines, reconstruction of your new galactic universes. The universal grid work within the 4D through 12D will hit a major grid collapse by March 10th. We are about to rock the universe within, which means see what you can shift within now. The most extreme role plays within will play out the 3D, 4D structures will play out in order to merge as one heart, one unified unity consciousness field again. 1111 coming in. This will shake, rock, shift the conscious crystalline plasma field systems beyond words. All will become transparent. Awesome galactic starseed abilities will come online. We will remember the next contract, the next universe. Remember you are a universe, multiverses within your higher self morphogenetic field, which means your truth will only be true to you only, your own inner vision, version of you, not others. We are now in the universal templates of our own pure creator worlds. Our truth will only be true to our inner core templates. We shift those structures every nanosecond. Nothing is true that is an illusion within that veil. Old mentalities, consciousness, this one will be awesome to see. Reminder, you are love, oneness, source. Reminder, drink plenty of water, co-create as creators. See the inner vision of light within. Transmission of translator of source. New galactic quantum human consciousness. New consciousness, universal new quantum multidimensional human. From Starseed Evolution United .net. And from Divine Sistar of Delight, Maria Lustig. Good start to the week to all. With the energies of this Tuesday's full moon, alignment of the planet Saturn, and these days we receive alpha radiation. These are high concentrations of solar energy that have been transferred to all planets or celestial bodies consciousness, so they receive what is called alpha radiation. This is the first physical radiation that the galaxy central sun is emitting across the galaxy in order to rearrange the physical worlds, the material movements of laws and the readjustment of the human consciousness. These alpha emanations promote a rearrangement of the physical worlds, the orbital position of celestial bodies and stars, so that everything that is material creation receives impulses of light from larger scales. This manifests itself every 26,000 years from the heart of the central sun. Codons of time and space and doors of contact open in places that previously unthinkable to be opened. This creates a situation of contact with other civilizations. Alpha radiation causes luminary radiation from crystals of light, tools and contact operations at the human level, extending to the etheric and physical levels, thus becoming visible. Let's keep preparing every day to live in the light, live beyond the old energies of polarity and suffering. As it is said, we must be prepared to live in heaven and earth, and this heaven is brought to planet earth. Today is a good day to do energy cleansing, flowering or showering. Big love and light to you, my higher being. Maria Lustig, Flame Keeper of Humanity at the Service of Humanity. From Divine Sistar of the Light, Devyani Singh, from Isis Channelings. The clarion call has been sounded for the spiritual warriors of light, 
seven. It was disclosed today in a powerful co-creation session with spiritual warrior of light Jessica Greco that a clarion call has been issued forth and the light warriors are taking their positions as the first guard as agents of vibrational stabilization and direction for the huge portal of light that has begun to open for the equinox portal of balance. The light was identified as primarily Lion Consciousness of 144, of Lyran, Andromedan, Orion Pathway, an alchemical energy of great transformation that is spearheaded by Lion Consciousness of Sirius, Isis. The spiritual light warriors who are at the front line receiving the full impact of these energies, which they will stabilize, filter, and direct via the sacred sites, via their physical being and intentions, are required to have fully achieved inner balance, union, integration within. And to assist with this process, we have the Venus Inanna plus Jupiter plus Chiron conjunction on March 1st, 2nd, the conjunction continues the marching orders for the spiritual warriors of light. Venus as Zinana is presently at solar plexus at the gate of personal power in her shamanic journey, reclaiming her balance between gut instinct and logical insight, fight versus flight, as the Capricorn wise woman metagoddess archetype. Inanna at solar plexus is the warrior blasting old power and control distortions and patterns within and without so that the new age of Ma'at and Horus can be established. Jupiter is Horus divine child in shamanic astrology, the new age of balance. The balance of the divine masculine and divine feminine, balance of the elements, Balance of logic and intuition, and our current year of seven is the year of the spiritual warrior who rides the chariot, seven, to victory, by balancing and integrating the polarities of divine will and personal will so as to complete the rainbow bridge to bring heaven to earth, as above so below, Chiron, the wounded healer, Anubis is the mix is the very key to unlock the immense potential at this time, provided the warrior of light has integrated her or his shadows, traumas, wounds, generational distortions, and emerged whole, healed, integrated, and complete, especially with her or his relationship to power. How has she, he, entered into righteous and harmonious relationship to owning and exerting power as a channel of divine will for the greatest good of all. We are now on the precipice of great change. The clarion call has been sounded and each and every spiritual warrior of light will answer the call as guided. As I had mentioned before, many spiritual warriors of light will be placed strategically at sacred sites, physically or in their light bodies. In this year of seven at specific times, to complete the rainbow bridge, seven, to facilitate heaven on earth by affecting and directing change in the Akashic realms via the sacred sites, which will ultimately be anchored into the crystalline flower of life, seven, grid, the chariot, seven of co-creation has sprung forth. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. sa ke na from isischannelings.wordpress.com and from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Karen Lithica. Unity of Light Communication For the path around you is expanding. The cosmic time frame of your world is arriving to a new way of being, aligning, resonating to the universe. We ask you to step up, awaken to the messages within. See the light opportunity of now aligned to the infinite life forces of your humble origins. For the light creation of you is now reaching a pivotal point of light awakening. The ancestral light of all beings is now attuning. This is a cosmic reality, a new rebirth now awakened in your timeline. Like weavers of light, we ask you to look within the depths of your light creation Seek the cosmic guidance of your ancestors to lead the way. 
Know the infinite timelines of light are now awakening. The key holders are returning to assist the greater good of your world. With saying this, it's only a small but important part to assist the greater good of your timeline. For the humanitarian role holds the majority of keys. The cosmic light alignment of now holds hidden doorways of light for the way showers to open and activate. Understand these layers of light are dormant but active. Seek unity guidance from all species to lead the way. Travel the light of your world, simultaneously connecting the dots to greater light connection, assimilation, leading you to the now moment of portal creation. Seek the ancestral ways, cosmic ways, as you awaken to the frontier of light consciousness. Listen and feel the clues before you. Follow the light way. With Love Light Family, Cosmic Light Alliance, from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. The Virgo full moon is heightening the understanding of the importance of solidifying inner union with self and the Most High. When this seals, nothing can penetrate into your field and disrupt your body or your life any longer. This is the way to detaching from energy vampires and opening up to your new cycles where you are safe from harm. As your vibration raises, it is easier to understand that this holographic reality is an illusion and choose a new program. The old software system has run its course and is outdated. Integrate the new earth timeline and become one with that instead. Connect with the Most High through the higher chakras and He will take you there. He will give you strength and wisdom and transcend what was and make changes for the better. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godco.com And from Stargazer Astrology, Saturn moves into Pisces tomorrow, right around the time when the Virgo full moon exacts. Big shifts on the way, integrity is the key. From Soul Light Space, the last 24 hours of Saturn and Aquarius. Fixed sign placements, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Three years of tests, restrictions, delays, obstacles, facing karma are ending for you. You made it. Congratulations. From March 7th, you are free. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Coming for the mutables now, if you're aligned with integrity and purity, Saturn will ride for you. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Tanya Gabriel. Less than 17 hours from now, the Virgo full moon and sun in Pisces is exact. Virgo's ruling planet is Mercury, planet of communication in the mind. Mars is in Gemini, a sign also ruled by Mercury is creating a dynamic T-square to the full moon and Neptune. This means your mind will be fired up by Mars and make passionate connections. So use this time to gain great clarity. With the Sun, Mercury, and Neptune in Pisces, if you listen to exquisitely beautiful music, you will not feel overwhelmed by the ideas and info streaming in. Instead, you'll feel inspired by what you discover. Neptune is part of the T-square to Mars, too, really magnifying the need for soothing, calming, loving energy. Spirit is calling. Place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly and breathe in and out deeply. Feel the pulse of love as you sink into your heart. Do this throughout the next two days. From TanyaGabriel.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Alex Miles. Are you already feeling the power of the upcoming full moon? If so, regardless of your zodiac sign, you can harness Virgo's energy to break free from anything holding you back. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising may feel this energy more intensely than others. The full moon in Virgo on March 6th through 7th is an excellent time to release any rigid expectations you have of yourself and others and to shed old patterns that no longer serve you. 
It is a powerful time to release any unnecessary worry or anxiety that is blocking you from living your best life. Virgo energy is known for its analytical, detail-oriented, and practical nature. However, these traits can also lead to perfectionism and self-criticism, which may mean you may miss out on opportunities or take on too much stress. By taking the opportunity to reflect and purge what is no longer needed during this phase, you can set yourself up for greater success and fulfillment in the future. Here are some things to consider letting go of before, during, and after the Virgo full moon. Perfectionism. Virgo is known for its meticulous attention to detail, which can sometimes turn into an obsession with perfection. However, perfectionism can be paralyzing and prevent you from taking action. Consider letting go of the need for everything to be flawless and instead focus on progression over perfection. Negative self-talk. Virgo energy can also bring up the inner critic, leading to negative self-talk. Pay attention to any self-sabotaging thoughts and try to reframe them into a more positive light. Clutter. Virgo loves order, organization, and cleanliness, so use this Virgo full moon to declutter your physical space and let go of anything that no longer serves a purpose or brings you joy. From EmpathPlanet.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Sun in Pisces, Sextile Uranus in Taurus, Dawn, Eyes cracked half open, yawning, stretching, emerging from slumber. A shaft of sunlight creeps through the window, lands on your face, tickling. An image from a dream pops into awareness, curious, funny, weird, strange, always illuminating. Shake-ups around finances, values, or security awaken one sleeping aspects of your personality. They present alternative avenues of self-expression, new ways to see yourself, new roads to explore. Now is the time to innovate, experiment, try on a new identity for size. You can change the role you play in your life, loosen up, lighten up, surprise yourself, be spontaneous. You are free to follow your dream. Tune into the source within for revolutionary insights. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 32, Yellow Rhythmic Human. The number six is called Rhythmic and its keywords are Organize, Equality, and Balance. Get into a rhythm today and organize yourself. Sometimes you have to take care of business. We need to address balance in our lives to make sure we are grounded and not always in our busy mind so much. If you want to think straight, sort out your personal space and your workspace, and you'll find energy will flow better in those environments. It's easier to balance our minds when our lives are organized. The number six also represents equality, and when we rebalance ourselves every 13 days, this process equalizes our energy. Imagine your brain has knobs, levers, and buttons. We need to recalibrate ourselves regularly to keep ourselves in check. Today is the yellow human which represents wisdom, influence, and free will. Obviously, today is about organizing the human. These days are always full of intuitive flashes when insights seem to pop into your head out of nowhere. Humans are channels, vessels designed to receive communication from spirit, and this wisdom is given freely to us, but we can use our free will to decide what to do with the insights we receive. Since organization is the rhythm for the day, this suggests that any information you channel may be in regards to practical matters you have on your mind. If you need answers, strive to calm your mind so you may hear that inner voice. Sometimes we are too distracted to hear the messages. If we are to recalibrate ourselves today, certainly this must mean we need to check our intuition. Channeling is great and gives us answers, but too much downloading and our cup runneth over, which is very draining and confusing. Alternatively, ignoring our gut instincts always leads to making bad choices. Strive today to listen to your inner voice but don't overdo it. 
The guide for today is also Yellow Human, a double helping of psychic energy. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Rhythmic Human, 6 Abe, Keen 32, 6 of March 2023. Influence of Divine Wisdom, 6 3 2023 20, equals 6 3 7 equals 6 10 equals 6 1 equals 7. Day codes 6 Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 7 Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician. Month Year codes 3 Holy Trinity, Creativity, Joy, Happiness. 7 10 Manifestation, Authority, Power, Leader. 1 New Beginnings, Original, Leader, Independent, Unique. 20. The Awakening Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion Strength Protection Support. Keen 32 equal 5. Freedom Liberation Change. A beautiful heavenly day to align your free will to do that of divine will, to bring forth healing balance and liberation in your life. Tone of Creation, Rhythmic Tone 6 in the Physical Realm. Action Balances, Power Organizes, Essence Equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all-adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts, and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Day 6 in the Blue Hand Wave Spell of Accomplishing Healing on All Levels Through Accessing Greater Knowledge and Skills The sixth day is filled with organizing our physical reality to bring forth equality and balance. The codes are emphasizing balance and becoming whole again, especially relating to our physical bodies. Rhythmic is also the Feng Shui Tone, which encourages you to clear your space in order to effect greater healing in your personal sanctuary, bring in more plants, aromas, candles, essential oils, incense, and beautiful objects and pictures. Use more motivational pictures and affirmations, natural materials, vibrant colors, flowers, and the elements and sounds of nature to bring more calm and harmony to your mind, body, and soul for complete rejuvenation. The blue hand seals the store of accomplishment, bringing forth completion. We can seek guidance today that will resolve any lingering issues that have burdened us in relation to our healing and coming back to wholeness through our divine self. Today's question is what wiser choices can you make through divine guidance to bring about greater healing to your body and others, to restore balance in your life and our world? Divine blessings for miraculous healing accomplishments today. In la Ket Shalakin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 32, Yellow Rhythmic Human. The mantra, the code for today is I organize in order to influence. Balancing wisdom, I seal the process of free will with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge or one-time donation. All the links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. 
Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful divine decree from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sandra Walter. Did you know your body creates elixirs of light when the heart, DNA, spine, and pineal are fully activated? For the divine decree, from the diamond solar core of my heart, I call forth the fountain of cosmic Christ love. I am restored, renewed, and rejuvenated by this divine flow. I bathe my heart, mind, body, and emotions, and consciousness in this crystalline light elixir. From ascensionpath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light, 37 into the 73, coming in heaven on earth. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful Virgo full moon as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.